Welcome to Chef's Roll, Chef's Plate 3, sponsored by Avocados from Mexico. Hi, it's Andrew Spurgeon, and I'm here at Kitchen 4140 in San Diego, California. You're gonna witness the final avocado battle from chefs from all across the United States down to these two final chefs. Chef Dorian Southall from LA and Chef Ricardo Heredia from here in San Diego. So let's go to the kitchen and get our avocado game on. course I did a Baja Hamachi Agua Chile with an avocado tortilla. It's kind of a riff on the Baja fish taco. For the crunchiness I beer battered and fried a squash blossom. There's a little bacon fat. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. The event's always fun. Um, a little outside the box of the cold taco the tortilla, you know, it's a little different avocado tortilla. But I'm always game for different. That's always that's always good. Uh, first course, pepper seared here in Massa. Avocado fritter, urban caper, chimichurri, tomato jam, fried leeks, and charred rosé. Second course was an avocado mole verde with pork loin. There was a little dumpling with avocado wheat la coche and masa. Uh, that was filled with an avocado buttermilk. Second course, we had caramelized pork tenderloin, roasted Brussels sprouts, pecans, avocado grits, mustard and lime butter. Third course was dessert. We did an avocado churro uh, with uh, avocado chocolate custard. Um, There's a little crystallized honey, some Mexican chocolate, and an almond marshmallow. Third course had olive oil and avocado cake, vanilla ice cream, candy blood oranges, tarragon, and sorrel gel. It the way we wanted it, everything looked beautiful, and it's up to the judges. To make a tortilla out of uh, avocados, using avocados, yeah. is a pretty ingenious idea. Some ingenious ideas work and some don't. I'm a little bit on the fence whether or not that one works. But, using the chia seeds on the jeramasa from Mexico, that gave it a little bit of like, I don't know, tapioca consistency to it. You know, the seeds kind of expand. That was really clever. And then it put a fried element on top to get your texture. That was pretty excellent. Not bad. For me, the, the mole was very, very well executed. The one thing was good for you're, if you're saying the mole was authentic or you're seeing that, I think that speaks a lot. Sorrel gel, the candy blood orange. That was that was a lot going on. Yeah, it was a lot of flavor. It's good. It's very simple, but you tasted everything. It worked. Can you eat the orange The results are in, and it was a very tight race, a super tight race, and the winner is Ricardo.